So here we go, Las Vegas, day three. Paul's come out dressed like he's for a Hawaiian barbecue. Spencer wearing his usual black, fantastic. Uh, today is IWJG day. Looking forward to it, seeing what's going on. We're gonna be showing off our Zero West watches to everybody, see what we can do. And also we're gonna be updating you on the gambling stakes. See how we've all been doing over 24 hours. Uh, come on, let's take a, a trip with us. Okay, so as you know, Spencer bottled it totally yesterday. Uh, and funnily enough, as did I, uh, on the stratosphere, but it's not about me, it's about Spencer. So we've got the uh, Plan B lined up. Uh, Plan B here knows nothing about this one, and there is absolutely no way he's gonna be ducking out on this one. No chance. That's going down well, doesn't it? Do you, know, do you know what really pisses me off? Right? They all believe me. No, what really pisses me off right, is that they speak our language. And they all think we're freaking Australian. Australia is like insignificant Morning. compared to England. How are you? <laughs> Morning. And then she goes for New Zealand. I mean, what's all that about? How are you doing? I am very well. How about yourself? Oh, I'm great, mate. We're having a wonderful time, and uh, I wish you could be here. I wish I could too. Unfortunately, my schedule is not allowing, but uh, I miss you guys. Um, wish you could be here. We'll have to catch up really soon, Michael. Oh, most definitely. Like I say, I wish I could be there too. I, I actually hate my schedule. Work has interfered with my social. Like, that's not good. It is what it is, mate. Listen, you take care and uh, we'll speak soon and uh, hopefully we'll catch up together in person before too long. I can't wait. Enjoy yourself. Thanks, Michael. You take care. Look after yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Fuck's sake. See that, guys? You see, look, are you recording, Kev? Yeah, that's good because these two, right, the two funeral directors, <laughs> all, are always giving me stick about the clothes that I wear. They get sick to death with the amount of people that compliment my fashion sense. They get really... You've never been mentioned as smart casual. Yeah. Never smart I'm casual. Just smart. It's just casual. It's just casual. So guys, update on the gaming. We are up 650 bucks. 650 dollars. We are 1,600. That's going to change our life, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, split three ways, we're at 200. $200 up, yeah, yeah. that'll pay for the trip, that will, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But, but anyway, look, we've had, we've had fun, that's right, haven't we? You've, been, you've seen a bit of poker, yeah, we've seen fun. some craps. I've seen Yeah, now. we've seen plenty of craps. This is, this is the only man I've well. ever known that has a massage whilst he's playing poker. <laughs> and he is so goddamn lazy <laughs> and such a prima donna and such a little diva that he's sitting on the chair cowboy style with the chair going backwards. That's how you got to do Leaning on the chair, he's having a massage, and he's getting the dealer to actually play his hand put for him. Put my blind and small blind. Unbelievable. The other funny bit, what about the craps? Well, throw the dice and it's gone hard. Oh, yeah, he, 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 threw, he threw the dice on the craps, and one of the dice bounced and went shooting off down the <laughs> casino and just missed someone that literally looked like Joe Pesci. I was waiting for the, someone to come along and chuck us out of the casino. 
But all good, all good. Right, let's go and see let's some watches. Get in there. Let's get in there. Let's get in there. So we're at the IWJG, um, just come outside for a break, beautiful weather. Um, I've got to be honest with you, right? I've got to tell it as it is. If I was still a dealer, um, I've walked around the show half a dozen times, I've put my scanning eye through all the capitalists, etc. You know, I've found a few nice bits and pieces, but there appears to be a bit of a story with every one of them. Not necessarily in a bad way, but um, one or two watches that I've found, you know, there's damage on the case back or the bracelet's too far gone. These are like vintage subs, vintage GMCs. Found a beautiful 18 karat gold, early turnograph. Um, the serial number was half missing, so that that's obviously no good. Not that I'm looking to buy it, but ultimately, old habits die hard. I'm looking around the cabinets for something extra special. And um, I've got to be honest, I've not really found it. I, the show is about, I'd say, half the size, maybe even less, of the Miami show that we went to in January. Um, if I was a, an active dealer, I'd be a little bit disappointed because I'd probably be going home with nothing, and that's not what these guys come here for. They come here to buy, they come here to sell, and I don't really see a lot of either happening at the moment. It's still only one o'clock, so there's a few hours to go. It might pick up later. So I've been around the show, to be honest with you, we're cheaper in the UK. I've come here and people often ask me what it is I'm looking for. I'm just looking to see what's going on in the market, quality of the goods. And this isn't really a huge show here, but I haven't really seen too much that has caught my eye that we haven't got at home in stock ourselves. Obviously, if there's something special, I'll point it out, and then it'll help me give me an idea of pricing in the UK. But there's nothing that's really caught my eye. I'll be back again here tomorrow and see what we can see. The situation with filming is that uh, there's literally no film. What they do do, they allow the dealers to film on their own stands only. But they can't walk around the show. You certainly can't walk around the show with a camera, um, which makes it a bit of a problem for us. After all, that's why we're here. Um, we will be getting some footage because we have been given permission um, to get some B-roll and stuff, but I suppose what I'm saying is, guys, is that you're actually not missing that much, as much as we'd like to show you inside and get the cameras up and running. We're not allowed to, but we knew that all along. Um, but it is what it is, and we'll do our best to bring you whatever we can. So plan B, we could do another three mile walk, couldn't we? Go all the way to Strat, buy the tickets, go at the top, have a look, and not do it again. But it was a nice drink up there, wasn't it? Yeah, it was lovely, Spencer. Yeah, I've got to be honest with you, my feet are killing me. There's no, but we have look, Spence. Don't change the subject. Gavin has a plan B for you after bowling out yesterday in there's front. No, there's no problem in this one. Really? In front of the entire world, Spencer. It might be a bit more scary than plan A. And I've got to tell you, looking at the comments today on my channel, you've let us down, mate. You let the side down yesterday. Today's the name to Redeem it's about okay, redemption. I'm happy to have a look, but as you know, guys, I'm here to help you buy and sell what you <laughs> That's my <laughs> job. <laughs> Not to jump off the top of a building where, by the way, you can actually Google it and have a look, but last night at dinner, Paul turned around to me and said, did you hear that a kid actually died on the ride that he went on yesterday? And I'm sure that you'd all sooner see me back to to be here for another day than die on a merry-go-round ride in Vegas. For your entertainment, yeah.
Boys, what about tonight? Looking forward to it. We've already met some watch people at the show here, um, bumped into a few people in the casino. Um, already started shaking hands and having pictures taken. That's me, not Spencer. Nobody asked Spencer yeah. to have their pictures taken with Spencer. No, exactly. exactly. But, um, yeah, yeah, it I should mean, be good. Yeah, yeah it should we're going to be there for me. Seriously, we're well, looking forward to it. Always love to meet the community and uh, meet as many of them as possible. And they've come from a long way, so we're looking forward Almost to it. Almost as far as us. Almost, yeah. yeah. I mean, I think that's going to be the highlight of the trip for me. Hopefully, it will be the highlight. Paul, do you want another highlight of the trip for me so far? Go on. Number one, obviously, your outfits. But yeah. number two, everyone here thinks you're Australian. Oh, <laughs> no honestly. No one thinks you've got an, a London accent. <laughs> I like the woman in the lift. I said, he's from Australia. And she goes, I thought he was from New Zealand. I'm a handsome cut. Paul, do you want a video of me going on this ride? Yeah. Let's go. I'm like an addict, do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shoot tastes sour, Welcome you Welcome back, taste everyone. Mine. We are live. Hey, Ian. Watch people. Hey. You know what time it is. <laughs> you know what time it is. How you doing, everyone? We are live from the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, oh, let's show them, look, we're above the main This is where we are, here. let's have a look. What a great view for everyone. The sun's out, the sun's shining. Redemption. Redemption time. We are so looking forward tonight to meeting a lot of watch people who are coming to see us tonight at the Lily Barton Lounge at the Bellagio, 8 p.m. starting. So, today is all about redemption. Now, yesterday, guys, in case you missed it, Spencer told me that he was going to uh, get on the Stratosphere ride with me. And he lost his bottle at the last minute. Good evening, all. <laughs> no, a lot earlier. A lot earlier than that. Oh, you lost your bottle a lot earlier than the last minute, yeah. He told me he was going to get on and let, well, I let me... I keep telling you, I'm here to serve to watch people give them guidance, advice, and if I lose my touch, I'm not going to be able to be there. Yeah? I can't do things like this. We've got lined up plan B. Roller coaster, New York, New York. Paul, you are bang on the money. That is Spencer's redemption cost for being a complete and utter wipeout, blowout yesterday. Please upvote for us guys, let's get to 100 upvotes to get Spencer on the ride. We can't take cameras off. No. Right, well in that case, I'll have to just watch you lot. Well, why don't you go outside and film outside and we'll wave at you. My boy came through. My boy smashed it. Oh, he's gonna get a drink. Oh, yep. Yeah. So? No, I'm, I'm all good, Spence. Spence, how was it? Horrific. Horrific. Spencer, what was the one word you were screaming the whole way through? Fuck and no, no, no. You're a 55 year old man who just ridden a roller coaster. So I've just had an absolute touch. I uh, took Spencer on the roller coaster. <laughs> he cried the whole way through. And as we came off, I said to him, Spencer, there's a swatch shop downstairs. Let's pile in, let's pile in and see what we can see. And lo and behold, as we walked in, moon swatches were just in stock. And we all managed to pick one up. 
uh, I picked up Mission to the Moon. They had 15 watches come into stock, and uh, yeah, oh, properly topped off my trip as. Uh, Paul bought one, which is given away to Ian Nicholson on his channel, which I think is amazing, and congratulations, Ian. Delighted for you. I know you were going to try and get me one, and luckily I took Spencer on and we managed to get you one, and, and Paul paid for it. We did it. He did Hi, it. Hi, Ash. How are you? You well? Good. He talks to anyone, Spencer. I have to... This is Australian. i tell you what, I have to... if anyone says I'm Australian again, I'm going to get the ump. There's nothing wrong with being Australian, but I'm English. It's as simple as that. Um, he speaks to anyone and everyone. I felt it? really bad, Gav. I'm still not. I'm 70%. So let, let me, me tell see you. your 70%. 70% 70 of Spencer Dryer. I don't feel great. Well done, he's not feeling good. But the upside was we did all get an Amiga, didn't we? We did, but yeah. I want to know more about the ride because Gavin said that I didn't see a thing of it. I closed my eyes the whole way. You closed your eyes the whole way. But I did think at one stage I was going to be sick. You <laughs> found? He did shout out, I'm going to be sick all over you and it's your fault. So he shouted out, I'm going to be sick all over you and it's your fault. And it's your fault. Yeah. Um, Gav, how much of this did you get on camera? Not no. one bit because they wouldn't let, I, I tried to sneak the camera on. Yeah. She said, no, 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 no. Gav, you could have, you would have lost it. I would have lost it. Uh, there's no question I would have lost that camera. Right. I was holding on for dear life. I don't like roller coasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The you only would've... way that you get away with that is a GoPro on the chest, yeah, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was in the hotel. Yeah, they're so not having none back. of it. We've still got two tickets. But we've got, we've got photographic evidence that he did actually I, manage I it. I bought, I spent $36 on two shit pictures for proof. Look, mate, fair and play to you. You can pay for those pictures because I'm not contributing My one. Absolute <laughs> pleasure, Spence. But I, I, so I've got to, I've got to be honest, drink. though. I've got to be honest, everyone, right? I don't think, in all honesty, that it's quite in the same league as the stratosphere. I think it's worse. Oh. We were thrown around, though, Gav. I've got to say, if you don't like motion sickness, I think it's far worse. It's three and a half minutes. Yeah, the motion sickness I wouldn't have liked. But I think the height was scarier, Spence, I'm sorry. Yeah, but if your eyes are closed, it doesn't really matter. Right, now can we get on to the real reason we came to America? Swatch. Swatch. I've been to the Swatch shop every day in London. I'm not joking, <laughs> all three of them, they all know me. Walk in there, <coughs> as we walk off, I said, Swatch. Amazing. What luck. They yeah. 15 pieces, that was it. And, that, and they've gone in seconds. And we seconds. got four of them. We got four. Wow, four out of 15, that's crazy. They yeah. let you have them. Yeah, I went show ID and everything. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. And you've just given yours away? I've just given mine away, yeah. yeah. Given it to uh, a lucky viewer. Ian Nicholson. Ian Nicholson, very deserving. Do you know what the funny thing is about that was? He emailed me and said, Gavin, I'm going to try and get, I know you're desperate for one. I'm going to try and get you one. And how funny, you know, although you paid for it, I got him one. Amazing. No, it's good. It's yeah. good. Well, you got it, Gav. I paid for it. No, I just said that. Oh, you said that, did you? Yeah. I'm just yeah. getting it clear. I walked in, oh, done okay. it, and messaged you on the channel saying, Paul, can you get to the swatch shop I know. I now? thought he was a bit panicky. I'm going like, capital letters now. What's wrong with him? And now I know did why. All, did all the pundits spot that? I did, yeah. Cool. Can you smell the bob oak? Dear oh Lord, it stinks of marijuana here. Yeah. Cool. So, we are having dinner at uh, six o'clock with Nico, Roman and his team. And then at eight o'clock, it's the big one. The Watch People's get together in Las Vegas, 2022. Um, a lot uh, of people Lily, coming from all over. Lily's bar? The Lily Bar oh. and Lounge at the Bellagio. And we're gonna be live. Guys, you know what else we're gonna do? I'll tell you what else we're gonna do. I've just thought of a great thing, yeah? We're gonna have a few drinks. And then we are going to go and have a game of craps. You're going to have a crap? Yeah, with the viewers.
Paul's loving a little sit down. He's been walking his little feet off. He's got a big bunion on his toe and he should be wearing socks. Look at those lovely white teeth. I remember spending uh, a week one night in St. Albans. <laughs> nice little town, sleepy little town, sleepy little village. Um, Why where, corporate back in? Where's Henry? Wow, yeah, I like That's St. Albans. Is that Henry? I don't know. I, you know, if you go to the Royal Air Force Museum in London, which you, if you haven't been, it's a great museum. Oh, cool. Is that coming? It's been as speed as a 730, said. Yeah, You're going to catch me next week. Forget that one. <laughs> 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 it's very beachy. Yeah. Right. That's what happened? <laughs> so the waiter manages to spill drinks all over me. Shout out to MCR Rolls Company. All over me top. And now I've got to take it away and clean it. I'm waiting for another chair. And it's all Roman's fault. Oh, it's a very nice one. I did nothing. Yeah, yeah. I did nothing. With the Alexander McQueen. Really? <laughs> <laughs> He's doing your Spencer impression. <laughs> yeah. It's just so much material. <laughs> so, long story short, Paul said something to me earlier, which makes a lot of sense. He said, I felt that we were friends before we even met in person, right? So the first time we met was not on Zoom, not on a YouTube Live, but I reached out to him and said, let's do something together. I recorded my part, and then I sent it to him. Good. And then he recorded the answers to me. It seemed like it was a back and forth, but the whole thing took a couple of weeks. I literally recorded my side. Yeah, and it, it attracted a lot of wine. So, uh, but I want to talk, I want to drink to our industry. The reason I want to drink to my industry, because our industry, is second to none when it comes to creating relationships with people. I've met Spencer twice in my life, three times now in my life. I've met Paul three times in my life. But yet, somehow, being oceans apart, I feel like we've become friends, right? And I know that a person I may not see two to three times a year, I can reach out to at any given time. Should I need anything? Should I need advice? And stuff like that. And I think that makes our industry unique. It also can take a 21-year-old kid, Twenty-two. <laughs> twenty-two. You were twenty-one. You were twenty-one. You were twenty-one. The kid. We hired. We hired him as a guy for Instagram to take pictures, which he sucked at badly. And, but he makes a hell of a salesperson, right? It allows me to create a relationship with somebody who's young enough to be my son. Yeah. Let's Cheers. 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 Old friends and new friends. Yes, sir. I met an interesting guy today, about fifteen minutes ago. Ex-marine, a pilot, and a badass overall. <laughs> Thank you, sir. What's the golden rule for tonight? Chew slowly, old cat. Cut, cut it. Chew slowly. Chew slowly. Don't eat too fast. Chew slowly. Don't eat too fast. Because you know what happens? You get ill. Alright, son?